I mean, in the men's, Vanessa, we've got to, it's going to be an Egyptian final either way because the men's semi final coming up is two Egyptians. Ramesh Shaw's already there in the women's. El Shabini is awaiting either Gohar or Camille Serm. So, I mean, uh, she's the last of the Mohicans outside of the country of Egypt, uh, Camille Serm. Not surprising to see uh, Amishimana smiling there off court. Serm to serve. His players doing very well. The ball. Well, I'm wondering whether we'll see any kind of chink in the Goha armor. layers of armor but uh, hopefully there'll be a few more chinks appearing for the French camp this is a good start though from Serm in this rally backhand drop shot there from Sir. Nice touch. He's been a little bit heavy going in there on the backhand side. Two one. Well, one of very few loose cross courts from Goha. It's the first slight lapse we've seen from the Egyptian. Just throwing in a high boast there. Decision soon. Yes, lead, 3-1. And the momentum just shifted in the favor of the French player. Yes, lead, 3-1. Decision soon. Stroke to soon. 4-1. So the momentum has been taken away, the steamrollering of the first two games from Gohart. She's on the back foot here. Down. Oh, it was a good opportunity, wasn't it? Hand it was there for the taking, that shot. It was. And uh, just a slight lapse from Gohart. She's just lost her way ever so slightly here. The last thing you want to do is let someone off the hook when you have that momentum. And out. Five, two. 
clever bit of deception. She's gone straight a lot from that area. She's starting to switch the play. Yeah, she started to use that uh, slight hold in the front a lot more over the past year. So um, really kind of player that's constantly trying to develop a game. Decision go, huh? Yes, lead. Five, two. A little bit heavy on the backhand cross court drop there. Well, oh, she's got the perfect width. And up, three, five. Dying in the nick. That's two five. in a row, so it's certainly not lucky. Well done. And out. Six four. The demeanour of uh, Camille Sam, she she does keep calm. I mean, that's an, again another uh, sign of experience. Yeah, she does, and uh, there's no reason really for her to panic too much because she has played well all match. She's got a good bit of momentum going here as well. Oh, this is good coverage from Camille Sir. And she's won the rally. So retrieving, and then when the opportunity was there, laying in the straight drop. 7-4. Well, I'm just wondering whether there is just the slightest bit of fatigue from Gohar. It's been such high quality. And uh, three very long games. Apparently not. Not in that <laughs> shot. That's a way to finish it. But I understand what you're saying. Five, seven. Games have been so competitive, but the, the tempo she plays at, she plays at an unrelenting tempo. And although that affects your opponent, it takes a lot out of yourself. And she's only 18 years of age. I mean, I, I still can't believe how strong she is at 18 years of age. She's the world junior champion. As well. Decision go home. Yes, lead. Five seven. Yeah, I think it's a good decision. She was playing uh, Camille Cern there, looking for the, the stroke scenario. Well, this is being going to be welcomed by Gohart. See her breathing heavily there, just trying to regain her composure. Thank you. Six, seven. Not to give away anything 
too cheaply here. So if Gohar gets a couple of points on the board, then she sees the end in sight. That gives a surge of energy. Well, that was as dead as a dodo. Pulverise that ball. And again, perfect weight of shot, and then finished with the backhand. Cross-court. Well, she suddenly sparked up. I mean, every single game has been so tight. Scoreline. Just edging the lead here, Gohart. What can Camille Serm come up with? Oh, she could come <laughs> up with... <laughs> a lecky one in the back wall, Nick. Oh. Goha would be uh, so annoyed with herself that she didn't volley that one. It's good pressure. From the Egyptian. Yeah. I think she played. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, Lit. Tough to see from that angle. Well, she went straight into she went straight into video Camille review. Serm there. The ball. So we've got our first video uh -huh. review. I think she went straight into Camille Serm here. She's kind of leaning into her. It's not the best shot from Camille Serm. It's a very very loose shot. But look where the ball is. <laughs> Stays quite short. I don't think this will be a stroke. She, yeah, that's a good decision. Strangely yes, going, decision well, she, Go not strangely, she was obviously remaining. going for Camille Serm to try and manufacture the stroke, but the original decision being upheld, that was a big decision as well, this stage. That's nasty. I that heard that. Decision go hard. That's really nasty. Stroke to go hard. Hand off. Nine Not eight. sure where she caught her. Just on the head, I think. I was lucky there's no blood. It's on the shoulder. On the shoulder. On the right shoulder, which is slightly awkward for her. Get a stroke here. Stroke to sir. <laughs> this is tense, Vanessa. Hand up. Nine so all. So stroke, a reciprocated stroke. It's just impossible to call, isn't it? Being point for point. Trouble. It's going to be a no let. And there's the scream from the French battler, Camille Serm. She's showing some serious Game minerals nine. in this semi. Game ball. 
Game ball for a fifth. She's done it. Camille Serms responded again. The defending champion is still in Thank this British Sermons. Open. Two games all. 62 minutes of the highest quality battle, and it's Camille Serm that levels two games all.